Hey everyone, it's Sammy Caps. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I wanted to, uh, you know, now that it's been 42 hours or so since the Diablo 4 campfire chat, I wanted to kind of pose a discussion. First of all, congratulations to all the current Diablo 4 players that are still playing the game. I'm sure you found the campfire chat um, a good step. A lot of you are ecstatic. A lot of you are happy. So I'm happy for you guys. That's awesome. Good. Uh, it's good that the players that have continued to support this game um, finally have got something that they can sink their teeth into. So for all of you that are in my community and in my videos and in the comment section, always talking about Diablo 4, I'm, I'm happy for you guys. That's that's great news. I'm happy for Diablo 4 in general. It's a step in the right direction. But today's video, I wanted to pose a question to you guys. Instead of me always giving my opinion, I wanted to present some information to my community and to the people that watch my videos. And pose a question. What are your thoughts on Diablo 4 extending season three to May 14th? And I asked that um, with the following preface, the following backstory here. Um, number one, the PTR is April 2nd to the 9th. And season three, really, when you think of it, should have ended the end of uh, March, uh, sorry, the end of April. And the PTR happening on this second to the ninth, two weeks, season three would have ended if they stuck to their three month schedule. I personally think that's enough time to incorporate whatever changes they would want to incorporate, if any, um, based on the feedback they're going to get from the PTR. Um, but I understand there's there's a good argument on extending it a couple of weeks and giving themselves an additional buffer. But I asked the question to you guys because delaying season three to May 14th and then season four starts on May 14th, you literally put yourself snap dag in the middle of potentially the new cycle for last epoch being released. So last epoch 1.0 launched on February 21st. And if they stick to what seems to be the model for all the ARPGs, the three month cycle league um, season, then that takes last epoch cycle two somewhere May 21 and beyond, right? Around that time frame. If 11th hour game sticks to that m model, right? Do you think it's a good idea? Now, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm just saying, what do you guys think? Now that you've had a couple of days to take in the all the changes coming to Diablo 4 with the itemization and such and the PTR, what are your thoughts about that? Also, what are the thoughts from the console players? And I ask that because here's a tweet from Rod Ferguson prior to the launch of Diablo 4. And as you can see, the question was, what what platform are you going to play it on? He was just curious, natural question. What platform are you planning to play D4 on? And as you can see from the almost 30,000 votes, which, you know, the game sold 10 million copies. So 30,000 is a small percentage, but I think this is enough data to assume that the rest of the population fits in the same scenario. So 70%, give or take, are on console, Xbox, PlayStation, and 27 and change percent are on PC, Battle.net. Um, so we'll round it up to 30. So out of every 10 players, seven are on console, three are on PC, Battle.net, or Steam now. Um, but Battle.net for the most part. I can't imagine a lot of players uh, moved over from Battle.net to Steam. I'm sure there are players on Steam. But anyway, 30% is Steam, uh, Battle.net, PC, and 70% is console. So with that in mind, 
How are the console players feeling about the fact that the battle, uh, the battle net, that the, that the PTR is only on PC? Given the fact that if this poll is a true representation of the masses of like the majority of the player base in Diablo 4, that seven out of 10 Diablo 4 players are console players, how do you feel about the fact that the PTR is being held only on the PC side, which is a small representation of the Diablo 4 player base? I want to hear from the console players. How do you feel? Obviously, I, you know, it's a no-brainer. Of course, everybody uh, that's on console, I'm, I'm assuming, would prefer to be able to participate in the PTR and get a first-hand look at Season 4 before everyone else. But I want to hear from the console players, how do you feel about the PTR? I want to hear from everybody on what are your thoughts about them delaying season three till the, <laughs> until the middle of May. Season three is the worst season. Yes, it's worse than season one, in my opinion. Why would you want to delay that? And I'm just trying, I, I want to get your opinion on how do you guys feel about this instead of me always giving my take. Let me hear your take on how you think this decision was. Was it a good one? And it literally is smack dab right before 1.0. Now, guys, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Everybody's loving Last Epoch. Everybody. Um, there are still droves of players playing Last Epoch uh, and for a lot of reasons. So with that in mind, what do you guys think? Do you think it was a good move? Should they have stuck with season three's timeline and just taken only two weeks? Because at the end of the day, what do you guys think? Do you think they're going to really take the information they get and the feedback they get from the PTR and incorporate it into the game. Now, remember, let's stay true to the facts here. It took them three seasons to finally start listening. Okay. Now I understand they've made little mini steps in season two and in season three, although I would argue what mini step did they make in season three? Um, but I understand in the past they have listened a little bit. But for the most part, a lot of the kicking and screaming from the Diablo 4 player base that started from day one and actually before the launch, the small people that they brought in to try out the game and the feedback was given, they didn't even listen to that from what I've heard. Um so I know they've made little incremental steps and listened here and there. But for the most part, all this stuff that they're now finally putting in season four, this has all been yelled at them since they won. Um, so they don't necessarily have a good track record of listening. Now, it looks like they finally have opened up their ears. But what do you think? Um, do you think they are going to seriously take the feedback they get from the PTR and actually implement stuff that's like on the top of that. Like if if 80% of the people playing on the PTR say, you need to put a loot filter in the game. Do you think they're gonna put a loot filter in the game? There's, there's a prime example, loot filter. I saw loot filter being mentioned left, right and center during the campfire chat from the chat watching the campfire chat. Um, so there's a there's an example. If 80% of the population that are doing the PTR say you got to put a loot filter in the game, do you think they're going to put it in the game? So my behind that is what do you think? Do you think they're going to really listen and really incorporate it? I want to hear your thoughts. I don't want to give you my opinion. What are your thoughts? And what are your thoughts on them delaying season three? and starting season four on May 14th, basically putting it head to head, almost head to head with last epochs, potential cycle two drop week, a week to two weeks later. 
remember, there's a lot of people that are enjoying Last Epoch. So just keep that in the back of your mind when you're answering that question. So I want to hear from you because I've had some time to think about it and I have my opinion, but I want to hear from you guys and, and your take on this move. And lastly, to all the D4 players that are in this community and jump into my comment section on all my videos, good, bad, or indifferent, I'm happy for you. I'm really, really, truly happy for you guys. Um, I know a lot of you are happy what happened on the Campfire Chat, so great. I'm happy you guys are happy. I hope you enjoy Season 4. I truly am happy for the players that really want to play Diablo 4. So uh, hats off to you guys, and I hope you enjoy Season 4. And I really, though, want to hear your comments on those questions. What do you think? Do you think it was wise to delay Season 3 since it's a dud? And put Season 4 smack dab in the middle with right before one of the most popular games right now, Last Epoch, potentially launching their new cycle, season, uh, cycle two. So let me hear what you got to say. I would love to hear it. And I love the convos that we're having in my comment section on my video. So get in there, hop on, be nice, don't be rude. Constructive conversations, guys, constructive, all right? All right, thanks for watching everybody. And if you can like, comment and subscribe, I would appreciate it. And as always, we we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.